everyone, and welcome back to Anne's Family Recipe. Crocktober is here, and everyone is pulling out their slow cookers and looking for easy, cozy recipes that they can make this time of year. Today, I'm sharing with you two delicious dinners and a yummy dessert recipe. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It's free to do, and then you'll be notified anytime that I post a new video. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you love a good crock pot meal. Let's get cooking. First up, I'm making sweet pork tenderloins, and this is a recipe I discovered through Lindsay at Healthy Happy Home over on Instagram. I think this is a very popular recipe from a restaurant called Cafe Rio, which is a chain on the western side of the United States. Correct me if I'm wrong. We don't have it around here in Pennsylvania, but this recipe is so easy and it sounded delicious, so I really wanted to try it out. So I took two whole pork tenderloins. I have a big family. I have five children plus my husband and me, so this was a good amount for our dinner plus some leftovers too. And then I used one jar of my favorite green salsa and poured that all over top of the meat, and then I sprinkled a half a cup of brown sugar over top. And then this just cooked on low, for about six to eight hours. When the meat was cooked through and ultra tender, I used two forks to shred it up. You can use this meat in tacos or enchiladas, but today I'm making rice bowls and Lindsay's suggestion was to make coconut rice. So I started with one can of coconut milk, and you always wanna shake that up to disperse the cream that rises to the top into the mixture, so it's nice and combined. And then I put that into a large glass measuring cup and topped it off with water until it reached four cups. Because I'm making jasmine rice, and you want to measure one part rice to two parts of cooking liquid. For a touch of sweetness, I added about a tablespoon of white sugar. Then I poured the liquid into a medium saucepan, added a pinch of salt, and then brought this to a boil. At this point, I added in two cups of jasmine rice, which I had rinsed thoroughly, and then stirred it together a little bit, covered it, reduced the heat to low, and allowed this to simmer for about 15 minutes or until most of that liquid had been absorbed. And then I turn off the heat and let the rice sit for an additional five minutes or so. And then you remove the lid and fluff it up and you have really delicious coconut rice. I had a variety of toppings for my sweet pork rice bowls, including homemade pico de gallo. So here I'm just dicing up a few tomatoes and then I'm going to finely dice half of an onion and put both of those into a little mixing bowl. Then I'll add in the juice of a lime. You could use two limes if yours aren't super juicy. And I also added in about half a bunch of cilantro that I just snipped up with my kitchen scissors and then season this with some salt and pepper. Once you stir it all together, it's best if you set it aside for a little bit before you eat it so the flavor can sort of marry together. This adds tons of fresh flavor to the pork rice bowls. I loved this little accompaniment. The final step is assembling these sweet pork rice bowls. So I started with a scoop of my coconut rice, a large helping of the sweet pork, which is so flavorful, and then some pico de gallo, black beans that I drained and rinsed, some shredded Mexican cheese. You could even add some sour cream and avocados. This tasted awesome. Next up, I'm making this incredible creamy tortellini soup, which I've actually shared on my channel before, but in that video, I made it on the stove top, and I wanted to show you how easy it is to put together in your crock pot too. So I'm starting with a pound of Italian sausage, just bulk, and I'm browning it in a nonstick skillet with about half of a diced onion. This recipe calls for 32 ounces of chicken broth, so I'm just putting together my own using this chicken base. This is just like better than bouillon, it's just the Sam's Club brand. So you heat up four cups of water and then add in about a tablespoon of the chicken base to make your chicken broth. So into my crock pot, I'm adding the browned sausage and onions and then topping it with my chicken broth. 
To that, I'm adding two cans of diced tomatoes with their juices, along with two cans of tomato soup. I stirred this all together and then covered my slow cooker and set this on low for about six hours. When there were about 30 minutes remaining in the cooking time, I removed the lid and added one container of chive and onion cream cheese, along with about three cups of fresh spinach and a family sized package of cheese tortellini. Once I stirred everything together, I put the lid back on and allowed it to finish cooking. So about 30 minutes later, I had this delicious soup. This has incredible flavor, particularly from that chive and onion cream cheese. It's really savory and rich, and everybody in my family loves this. I like to serve this with some crusty bread and butter. It is a really cozy, easy meal. Last but not least is bread pudding in the slow cooker. This is very similar to a French toast casserole and arguably as much a dessert as it is breakfast or brunch. We definitely ate the leftovers for breakfast the next day. So I sprayed the inside of my crock pot and then I added in about two thirds of this kind of extra large loaf of bread. I think it was about 14 slices and I just tore it up by hand. You could also cut it up into cubes if you want more uniform pieces. Next, I added in a half a cup of raisins, which is definitely optional. You could swap these out for a different dried fruit or even fresh fruit, like maybe some chopped up apples or some nuts. And then in a large glass measuring cup, I cracked four eggs. And you can see I accidentally got a little shell in there. And my best tip for getting it out is to use the eggshell itself, and it'll usually scoop right out. To this, I added two cups of milk, and then a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of white sugar. I added a half a teaspoon to start of cinnamon, and then I realized later that I had my half teaspoon measure instead of my whole teaspoon measure, so I added a little more cinnamon later. Um, I also added in a pinch of salt and a pinch of nutmeg, and then after whisking this together, I realized I forgot the vanilla, and that's important here for some extra flavor, so I added in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then to finish it off, I added in four tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, and here you can see I'm adding in that extra cinnamon, whisked it all together, and then poured it over top of the bread and raisins. I stirred this all together to make sure that all of the bread had been coated with the milk and egg mixture. And then I covered the crock pot and this cooked on low for about two and a half hours. This bread pudding was really tasty and comforting. I served mine with some whipped cream. You could also serve it with vanilla ice cream. I have an awesome recipe for homemade pumpkin spice whipped cream, which would be a fun twist for fall. I'll leave that link in my description box below. But I definitely recommend all three of these delicious, easy crock pot recipes for you to try this fall. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can follow me over on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen and I'll see you again soon.